I'm John Hallback. I am the now husband of the greater of these ciders. We were just boyfriends when the show started back in 2012. I am an executive producer on the show, and I play Ian on the show. I missed my period. <laughs> okay. Okay. Of course it's okay. Of course it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We decided to make a season four for a few reasons. One of the main ones was that season three was a much smaller piece and all the characters were literally spread out around the country. Uh, the majority of it was Tom and Cal driving on their road trip. And then there were these two little capsule episodes with Willem and Steven in Palm Springs and one with me and the girls back in Silver Lake. So I think we really wanted to get the ensemble back together and give the show the send off that we felt like it deserved. Okay. I can't think of another series like this that has consistently explored an open relationship. And I think it's special beyond that. Like there are not very many LGBTQ series to begin with. And I think all those shows have probably had a threesome episode, but this is the first time I think I've seen main characters depicted over the course of six years navigating an open relationship. Oh, yes. Great, and back to just Willem. Everybody else stay put. Willem, back to year one. The days on set that I am most proud of for season four would have to be the wedding shoot. It's definitely what I was the most scared for. It's what I didn't know that we could pull off. It involved the most people, anywhere between 25 and 125 people on set at any given moment. And any of those people could have ruined it all. <laughs> at any point, you're just so vulnerable to everyone on set. Can I have the two of you come to the back of the line real quick? So let's get everybody else through. You'll be at the back, the back of the line. Kit had never run a set that big before, so God only knows how he could or if he could. I'm skeptical of everything Kit wants to do. Everything. And Kit, Kit. And he has said that he felt like a mother whose child was trapped underneath a car and he just had to like muscle through and save the baby. You really have to obtain temporary superpowers in order to undertake something of this scope and also temporary insanity to think that you're gonna actually pull it off. And there's no reason it should have turned out as well as it did, but it totally did and I'm so proud of it and so excited for people to see it. <laughs>